Howdy y'all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. My name is Josh and I love clothes. Pardon the lighting, I'm trying to kind of make things work out when I record at night. So I got a new lamp. I know the lighting is pretty harsh. I know there's like the, the shadows are pretty prominent, but I'm trying to work with what I got here. But today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video about uh, a couple of tips about dressing in winter time, dressing for colder weather. My particular favorite seasons to dress for are both spring and fall. However, in winter, it can be a little bit tricky to try and look your best while still being functional and warm. So just a couple of tips for you guys and a couple of different jackets that I wanted to show you guys are uh, first and foremost, Sherpa jackets, or more kind of like Sherpa line jackets. This one right here is a kind of Sherpa overcoat that's from Uniqlo. This one's one of my favorites. I think I've shown it off in videos in the past. I'm not 100% sure, but this one is kind of my go-to. This is, I call this my Bane jacket. This is super, super warm. You don't really have to wear too much underneath it. Usually if it's really, really cold, I'll wear a hoodie underneath this and that is really all I'll need. In Las Vegas, it doesn't really go under uh, maybe, 25 degrees Fahrenheit so it's not like the coldest but it does kind of get down there on a couple of days but this Sherpa lined jacket is one of my absolute favorites for the colder weather um, I do wish I had it in black I wish I had everything in black but this does me really 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 well as well as this other isn't technically Sherpa, this is more of an actual like fleece. This is also from Uniqlo. This is the White Mountaineering Uniqlo collaboration. And this has different kind of textures of fleece on it. So on the sleeve, there's a little bit more of a fine fleece and then a more of a kind of a reminiscent of Patagonia Retro X deep pile up here. And then obviously this little pocket over here is also very reminiscent of the Retro X from Patagonia. Um, but yeah, these jackets, fleece and Sherpa jackets are great for colder weather, great for layering as well. So a lot of times you can wear a shell jacket over a jacket like this. So this can be basically the insulating layer. And that's another kind of topic that I wanted to bring up. Layering is super, super important when it comes to uh, winter. So the next jacket I want to show you guys is actually a goose down jacket. This one right here is my go-to. This one is a somewhat packable puffer jacket from a brand called Rag and Bone. This is actually a women's jacket. I just got the biggest size and it fits me pretty well, I would say. And so this one right here, you can kind of see it does have a super boxy, super kind of like puffy. It makes me look real wide, but this jacket keeps me super, super warm. It is quite lightweight and it is semi packable. So if I need to kind of pack it into a suitcase or something, it, you know, compresses down pretty well. Now, fair warning, Goose Down isn't the most animal friendly thing at all. Uh, so if you're someone who really values the treatment of animals, Goose down jackets probably aren't the way you want to go, but if you are looking for a goose down jacket, North Face Nupsy jacket, and a lot of other brands, especially this year, have been coming out with a lot of puffer jackets that have really cool paneling like Bottega Veneta and a lot of other you know brands that aren't coming to mind right now. But goose down jacket, puffer jackets, great for the winter. The next thing I wanted to address is actually layering. And layering is super, super important, like I said earlier, uh, for colder weather. It is absolutely impossible to dress for cold weather without the use of layering whether you can see it or not. And what I mean by that is that the base layer usually, or at least in my opinion, almost always has to be the slimmest and closest to the body. I think when you layer things that are very slim and um, fit to your body, you can layer things on top of it that are a little bit less form fitting and then it looks a little bit more natural. And what I mean by that is a lot of times I'll wear if for my tops, I'll wear like a compression shirt, like a, just a plain compression shirt that I get off Amazon, um, and then put my, like say a vintage tee over it, and it looks great. It looks like a really nice, well-layered um, top. Another type of layering piece that I would like to show you guys is thermals. Thermals are this kind of like waffle knit um, shirt and pants. The pants are called long johns uh, in some parts of the US, but thermals 
layered underneath a vintage tee looks absolutely amazing. I think that honestly, uh, more people should definitely do it because it allows you to wear your vintage tees while still keeping warm and still being very functional. But as I was saying earlier, definitely use your most form-fitting um, clothing as kind of the base layers and then layer on top of it to get that kind of layered effect, which ends up looking really, really nice in outfits. When it comes to my bottoms, I'll do the exact same thing. Sometimes I'll just buy a pair of just regular leggings from like any random department store and I'll buy like the most, the, like a pair of clearance leggings. I don't even care what color they are a lot of the times. I'll buy a pair of clearance leggings, throw them on and throw some pants over it and boom, my legs are warm. And if it gets really, really cold, long johns or thermal pants are great for layering underneath pants as well. Now it gets a little difficult if you're one who wears slim or skinny pants. A lot of times you can't really wear uh, or layer something underneath them. So this kind of works best with loose or straight fit pants. All right, so my next tip for dressing in the winter is definitely looking into footwear that's insulated. And what I mean by that is I have this boot right here. Uh, this one is a vintage hiking boot, but you can actually see that there is like quite a bit of padding. It's not just a regular piece of leather. There's a layer here underneath that has something there to keep your um, foot warm. I don't know exactly what that something is. It might be wool, I'm not entirely sure. But insulated boots are super important and to keep your feet warm. Other forms of insulated shoes are definitely a lot of ones that you can see nowadays where they kind of look like kind of puffer shoes. I'll definitely put some pictures of some um, on the screen right here, but those will definitely also are insulated and keep your feet warm as well, which is super, super important. Next up, moving to a couple of accessories that are absolutely essential. Of course, your fit like top, bottom shoes, that's the main fit, yes, but there are a lot of other things that you can actually do to keep yourself warm. The easiest of which, especially nowadays in the midst of this whole uh, pandemic, is simply wearing your mask. I, th I find that wearing a mask warms my face up a whole lot. When I breathe, that kind of breath is kind of like warming up my face. And so wearing a mask does kind of help me stay warm. <clears throat> Of course, you can also wear a beanie. I really only own one beanie. It's kind of hard for me to find hats that fit my hair, but beanies are great. But there are also other kind of maybe less utilized accessories that are around like these, gloves. Gloves are so, so amazing. And you don't have to break the bank to actually, you know, get a pair of gloves. This pair is also from Uniqlo, and this one I think only costed me about $29.90, if I'm not mistaken, but they keep my hands incredibly warm. You could also get wool gloves. There are gloves that allow you to use your phone. Now, in a place where I drive a lot, you know, in Las Vegas where we, you know, drive everywhere, it's a little difficult to wear my gloves and drive at the same time, but when I'm in my car, usually the heater's on anyway, and so I don't have to wear my gloves. It's only when I'm walking around, I just put my gloves on and I feel pretty great. So gloves, definitely another essential. And then another, other forms of uh, accessories that actually can keep your like head and neck warm is definitely like uh, hoods. The first thing that comes to mind is definitely Kamaware. They have that like kind of wool knit, um, they have a knit hood that looks really good. It's a great accent piece to any outfit. Uh, the colors that they offer right, or that hey, they've come out with so far have been really good. And not only does Kamaware provide this, but other brands provide this as well. I know Rick Owens does one that's rather expensive. I think it's $400 retail, but it is the kind of same concept that is like just like a solo hood that's knitted. Uh, there are plenty on Etsy, so definitely look up just like knitted hood on Etsy. And then, and this right here, I actually got from Daiso. It is kind of this like faux Sherpa lined neck gaiter. So basically all you need to do is just wrap it around and just snap it into place. And it keeps my neck extremely warm. And honestly, it adds a little bit of, it kind of gives a turtleneck vibe to whatever jacket I'm wearing at the time. 
and I think it kind of looks cool too. I'm not completely sure if this is still available at Daiso, but definitely keep an eye out for like neck gaiters like this. And very last on the list is not actually clothing related, but these are absolutely amazing and I think they're they are essential. So these right here, you can get these on Amazon, you can get them usually at any department, not department store, you can usually get them at like grocery stores, supermarkets, things like that. These are hot hands and oh my goodness, are they lifesavers. So they come in little packs like this and they are honestly just so good. All you basically do is you just open them up and then you rub them in your hands and the more you shake them and the more you rub, the hotter they get and they keep your hands warm. And not only your hands, but they also have a version for your feet that you can put in your shoes as well in case you're caught in a place where your shoes aren't insulated and your feet are freezing. These literally can be lifesavers sometimes. Everybody should definitely, definitely keep some on them if they are in colder climates. But yeah, those are some of my tips for dressing in um, winter time. I know sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. I know some people can find it a little frustrating to try and dress well or get a fit off when it's really cold out. But I hope these tips helped you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any like hacks or whatever you want to call them, if you have any little tricks or accessories that I didn't mention, like scarves, I didn't mention scarves. Those are extremely useful too. Feel free to put them in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you guys again, and until my next video, I'll catch you guys later.